Okay, in this video, we want to talk about the evolution of uh, IRV analysis. Remember, IRV is um, income, rate, and value. And there is this relationship that value is equal to income divided by the rate. So if we know the income is 100000 and the rate is 0.08 or 8%, we used to uh, get our pencil out and uh, do our long division. And we would uh, move it over two decimal points and add two to... The value and do our long division and do the calculation and uh, a couple minutes later we would come up with the value uh, and in that case uh, 100,000 in income at a rate of 0.08 would give you a value indication of a million two hundred fifty thousand so that's how we kind of did it up until the 1960s and 70s and then along came electronic calculators of course they made uh, things much faster it didn't take us uh, two or three minutes to do our long division. Um, we could do it faster and we could also be confident that we were more accurate um, with our calculation. And then uh, along came spreadsheets and we were able to start plugging in values and doing um, the calculation, letting the spreadsheet do the calculation for us. We were even able to start doing uh, deeper analysis with um, plugging in income and having the formula actually calculate the value based on the rate so we could start getting a sense of the range of values based on the range of rates with this fundamental relationship. The next step uh, was uh, the ability to actually add a slider to the spreadsheet so we would start with a value and we could move uh, up or down and that would change the rate and the value would change. So that was a nice step in terms of getting a better feel for the data and the relationship. Uh, but what we really uh, want to think about at a much deeper level, uh, level is that relationship between the rate and the value. If we have an income, uh, we know that there is a relationship between these uh, the rate and the value and it's a it's a curve relationship it's not a linear relationship so if we picked a point on here uh, it would be nice to be able to just move up and down this point so we could change the uh, um, value if we were trying to figure out what the rate would have to be in order to uh, get a value of two million we just move the line up to two million and that would uh, calculate the rate for us and vice versa we could all go the other direction if the market rate was uh, 0.10 or 10 percent we would move it down there and that would tell us um, what the value would be so we basically have gone from uh, a pencil uh, to touching the curve uh, so that is our evolution of the irv analysis